All right, guys, what's happening here is um, I'm trying to get rid of the inner seal over there at the front so I can uh, keep working on my area there, but to remove the inner seal from there, I have to remove it. I have to remove the whole inner seal, of course, and here it was overlapped with a couple of uh, patches that I tried to remove, and everything overlaps each other, so it is so hard to, to, to go ahead and finish what I'm supposed to do that I think I'm gonna just get rid of the inner seal. I'm gonna cut it somewhere in the middle and forget about this part here for now. I'm gonna work on the front and then when I come back here I'm gonna uh, figure out what to do. Or I can just cut the whole inner seal out but trying to salvage it, it's uh, taking me forever so I don't think it's worth for a part that is uh, like 20 or 30 dollars and we have it anyways so I'm just gonna cut it and uh, yeah Here. It's missing. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. Okay, I've drawn this picture before for my GT6 I think, but I want to show it to you again for those of you who don't know what's, uh, what are the parts involved in the seal inner seal, outer seal and strengthener piece and floor, how they uh, go together so if this is your, let's say, outer seal I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger than what it is let's say this is your outer seal, right? and um, after the outer seal, there's another piece which is called strengthener piece and they are just spot welded together of course inside you have the floor with its drop you know, and it goes like this and then you have the inner seal which goes like this so here you should have three layers of metal on the top and three layers of metal underneath here you have the inner seal, the strengthener piece and the outer seal here you have the floor drop, the strengthener piece and the outer seal now on this car, this piece is missing whenever they change the outer seal they just didn't replace the, you know, the strengthener piece and this is a very important piece because it provides strength it makes sense, right? strengthener piece it provides strength to the body and uh, here it's missing so what I have to do now is I have to get rid of the uh, inner seal I have to get rid of the floor I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of those anyways but then I'm gonna rely only on the outer seal to keep the strength to keep the integrity of the body while I'm replacing the, uh, this piece it's just a flat piece so it's not such a big deal to make it but this is crazy why would you make such repairs on a car they killed this car, you know, and now they're killing me. So here's a little dissection of uh, what was the situation inside. So there was a strengthener piece, 
but it was too short obviously they cut it and actually what you see here right here is on my picture that's the the top is the is this part of the inner seal so that's this this is the floor this part and then this is the strengthener piece but it doesn't reach all the way up it reaches somewhere to here and then they pushed it against the inner seal and they welded it here you see so that's what they did and you want to see that in reality okay I have half a car assembled here. <laughs> All right, so here, here I assembled it just so it makes sense even in my head because, so you see here the floor, the floor with its drop, the inner seal. Or this is where this strengthener piece needs to be, like that. And then the outer seal covers all that. So that's how it, supposed to be. but because it was too short the strengthener piece they just pushed it against the inner seal and welded it there so that's what's happening and actually the inner seal was somehow further out I don't know how they managed to do that so what we are doing now we're getting rid of the inner seal we're getting rid of the floor we're gonna weld the strengthener piece like that as it is on the car and then we're gonna start building the floor and the inner seal. That will require a lot of fitting. Probably I'm gonna have to install the fender, the door, and everything when I'm installing the pieces inside, but whatever, we're gonna have to do it. So we don't have a strengthener piece. It's not gonna work if it's out of paper, we'll have to make it out of metal, but it is a flat piece, so it's easy to be made, I hope. Okay, finally. The inner seal, the side of the floor, and I don't care about this side of the floor, but that side of the floor, the cups front and back of the seal are out, and now we can start actually building. It took about three hours to, to take all this metal out, and especially the flanges, even the flange at the bottom on the seal is not very good anymore, but I'm gonna have to repair it because I don't want to take this seal out. If I take this out, the geometry of the car is gonna go to hell. So I'm gonna keep it as it is and I, whatever I have to fix at the bottom of the seal, I'm gonna fix it later. So now I think I'm gonna rust convert this inside and uh, I'm gonna start fabricating a strengthener piece to go inside and then later we're gonna paint this inside we're gonna paint the strengthener piece that I will make and we're gonna weld them together and we're gonna start building from outside in <laughs> and this is the missing piece I made it but now I'm debating what's the best way to to continue from this point obviously this can go there it can be welded there I think it's not gonna interfere with anything but then after that I'm thinking to replace this piece, I need to know where exactly the flange underneath is because this piece is uh, coming down and then there is a flange going forward which overlaps with the floor and then they get um, stapled <laughs> and then they get uh, spot welded together. So I need to know exactly where the flange needs to be. So I need to put the floor in at some point. Uh, no, and to put the floor in, this means that I have to take the old one out I have to take this out and do I need to repair this first or can I just yeah maybe I'm gonna what I'm gonna do yeah just came to my mind I'm gonna cut off the old floor and I'm gonna drop the other floor in position it as best as possible and then we're gonna build this and maybe at the end we're gonna install this piece because for now we can keep it out for easy access it doesn't interfere with anything so we can keep it out for now so yeah actually just made a game plan without knowing it. When I started talking it out loud and, and it sounded easier than uh, so far in my head.
All right, I think the hardest part is done. That was the nightmare for me to remove the old floor from all the corners, all the flanges and everything. But finally, I think everywhere I'm back to uh, solid metal, including the wheel well here and in the front there and everywhere. Now I can test fit everything for the first time and see how everything matches everything. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna have to start extending that wall, the wheel well, there's a few holes on this wall that need to be uh, fixed, etc. But at least now I can test fit everything and see how it matches. I'm amazed how everything fits. This curve over there, this line here matches perfectly. You just have to be careful about the height. That over there matches perfectly. Everything to the side here. Wow. So now, again, I'm gonna start building everything down like this flange over there has some issues. You know, there's a flange going that way. So this flange has to be repaired. That corner has to be repaired. There is a little hole here. Here, of course, I have to extend everything down and make it reach the floor. And then a flange that goes there. This vertical piece here, the flange was um, rotten too. So I have to build a little bit of flange coming this way. Then, like we said, this whole wall has to be rebuilt. We have the side piece for here, so that's great. Here, the A post, the inside has to come down a little bit more. And of course, last, the B post has to be repaired. But it looks fantastic, I'm happy. Compared to the other side, <laughs> Yeah. And I think the game plan, now that we know that everything fits well, is um, we're going to take the floor out again, we're going to clean up the outer seal, we're going to paint it, we're going to paint the strengthener piece, and we're going to weld the strengthener piece there. Then we're going to fix all these uh, flanges here that I showed you that are damaged. We're gonna leave the wheel well for now. We're gonna fix this hole that you don't see now, but you know it is here in the corner. And then we're gonna install the floor permanently. We're gonna weld it where it is. We're gonna weld the inner seal. And only then we will fix this corner here, the wheel well, because this, we don't need the floor to be out. Actually, we need the floor to be in to be able to fix that. And for the same reason, we're gonna fix this area later because again we need the floor to be in to be uh, able to fix that actually that was the whole idea why we started dealing with the floor with everything before we fixed that because we needed the floor for that right Okay, this little corner is done. Uh, tomorrow we just need to grind it. And we're gonna do this one in the morning. I have the patch done already. The seal, the outer seal is painted inside. The strengthener piece is painted inside the side. That is gonna go towards the outer seal. So it's not gonna be seen anymore. So we painted it already. 
the holes for plug welds are drilled on top of the strengthener piece because we're gonna uh, weld it from the inside but for the bottom I figured it's gonna be easier to weld it from the outside so I drilled the hole at the bottom of the outer seal so tomorrow we're gonna weld all that and once the seal is assembled once these patches here are done we're gonna be able to install the floor permanently but like I said before we weld it though remind me guys I shouldn't forget I want to install the door the fenders and um, make sure that the gaps are perfect and then we're gonna weld the floor because you never know maybe the body has twisted in some way and I don't want to scrap anything how do you like my gaps? <laughs> So we're looking for a fender and a seal. They might be rusted because we have a door and we have a rusted uh, fender. So we need a rusted seal and a rusted rear fender. And we're gonna put everything on the wall, as a wall wire. How do you like the idea? <laughs> I made a mistake here with this pipe, guys. The floor is supposed to have a step, like here. You see how it has a step in the corner? Well, well, I I think it looks good. So now I think it's time to install the strengthener piece inside the seal and then the floor. You know what? I'm afraid that this slip over there of the row of the seal is showing above the strengthener piece. And the strengthener piece is perfectly straight line because it was cut on the shear. So or I'm afraid that the seal might have moved a little bit. Maybe it was bent or something, which can lead to two things. First of all, when the door opens and closes might catch the seal. And second, if uh, the top of the seal bends up and the bottom of the seal bends down then this distance here will shrink you know so the door jam might become a little bit too small so i think at this point i have it tucked in place i should put the floor in i should put the door the two fenders and make sure that everything works well all the gaps are fine and then we're going to proceed with the welding Let's not rush because we might make a mistake. Our bonnet is becoming convertible. <laughs> right, so uh, I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. I have enough material to upload, so I'm gonna upload a video tonight so you see where I'm at because I don't know. It's been a couple of days already, and you might think that I gave up. No, we never give up. We're gonna bring this body back to life even though it looked like it was uh, really rough, but I can, I see like already almost quarter of the work is done, I guess. Famous last words you say, right? But <laughs> there are no more hidden areas here. <laughs> Nothing else to surprise us. We've been everywhere already, so we know where the problems are. 
Anyway, so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.